friends. So I'm working on my camera crawler again today, and uh, here it is. So it's coming together. It's actually looking like a truck now, but it needs tires. So that's going to be the project this morning, is to put the tires together. So I'm going to put one together, and then I'm going to do time lapse on the rest. Um, so it is I... And some inexpensive uh, tires from Amazon. Uh, again, check out the links. And uh, if you enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe. So these were $29. They're inexpensive. They're foam filled. I think they'll do the trick. <coughs> I'm sure a heck of a lot different from the tires that were on uh, cars when I was a kid. RC cars. I frankly think it's overblown to have all these little separate bits and pieces, but whatever. So let's take enough of this part to figure out how it works. Okay, so it looks like it's a three-piece assembly. trillion little bolts. Oh, isn't that cool? It comes with a little wrench. Silly is what it is. Alright. So, it looks like we just get right into this from the get-go. with a little tire machine. Well, <clears throat> so we learned something else new. Apparently these come apart. Yep, okay, so that's how that works. And then it has four million little screws from the back side. It's a model split rim. What a pain in the butt. Just don't seem to it doesn't seem to be sitting in here properly. So we'll see what's going on. 
We'll slip another one in. Okay, so it's got to go in the little grooves. All right. Oh, it's the wheel that's slipping, which means it probably doesn't have this tightened enough. I have a hunch there is some glue in the future of this. And really this could have been done with like four of these. It does not need all these damn individual screws. raining out so my cat has to go outside and then come in and cry about it. One of them. The other two are smarter than that. Now the cat is up behind the camera thinking about maybe laying down on the desk. Alright, so there's one. The only problem is the this doesn't grab, so it sits here and spins, and I'm going to end up having to glue that. But that's not a big deal. So I'm going to switch to time lapse and I'll knock these out.
All right, so that was pretty straightforward. Now it's time to put the wheels on. So, I'm not sure what the easiest way to wash this is, but we'll try that. So the way this appears to work is, actually, you know what? This is just gonna have to go on just like this. So there's a little spacer there, and then it gets a locking pin. So we're going to have to look and see, that's okay, it's over here. Having lots of issues with my hand today. Probably because I've put this whole kit together this week. Okay, so that's not working so well. It's because one side's threaded and the other isn't. go in there one more time and make sure it's tight. Alright, that looks good. And then we get a wheel and that. Now there's supposed to be little caps on these, but these little caps are going to go in the trash because, well, they're just not important. Technically it's recycling. issues with traction because this hub isn't binding. It's just a it's a wheel design that's allowed uh, it's designed for flashing this. Alright, so I think we're good there. Yeah, it's good enough.
So I have improvised by putting a wrench in here to give myself a little more leverage. I just find the, the wrench that they supply isn't large enough for me to get a good grip on it. It's cute though. I mean, I'll give it that. There we go. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So, we'll order some super glue. We're not even close to being done with this, so... the super glue will get here before we're done. There we go. So that one's all the way in now. And so what's happening is the rim that the tire sits on, the tire and the rim are solid. It's that the rim is slightly undersized and um, it's not biting the split rim. So, that's kind of irritating, actually. Because it's excessively complicated as it is. What I mean is, it doesn't have to be this complicated. Alright, so there is a small... There's a... Damn it, you know what? That's threaded. That's actually a piece of metal. I thought it was plastic. Now that we know it's metal... We will put Loctite in here. That one appears to be malformed. I think what's actually going on with it is it got through before... I think it didn't get punched the last time.
Yep, there won't be any turning that by hand. Alright, so I think I can force that to turn. There we go. It just had some flash in there from the machining process. So now that we've got it started, we're going to just position it over here and continue with this little trick. Sort of. So we're physically together, and now what we need to do is uh, pause, break for a new video.